What's up everybody, welcome to another more RPG mod tutorial video for Skyrim Special Edition. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Skyhud using the Vortex mod manager and changing out presets for Skyhud. Let this video be a companion piece to a previous video I made where we installed SkyUI 5.2 and the complete widescreen fix for Skyrim Special Edition as well as the SKSE64 loader. This will be sort of a expansion to the sky HUD that we installed in that video and I'll be a little bit more elaborate through here so you can see how to swap around the presets. Okay, so let's get into it. Head over to Nexus Mods Sky HUD mod page and click the Mod Manager download link under Files. This will send a notification over to Next to Vortex to create the download. The download started. Let's head to our downloads page and install Sky HUD. We have a sub window that pops up here to continue the installation process and pick out what presets we want. So select the ESP package and choose a preset. I'm going to go with Sky HUD Oblivion like I did in the previous video. It's cool. It has a it kind of has the most difference from a normal Skyrim Special Edition HUD just so you can see more of an impact. Um, and under optional installs, install HUD compatibility patch and extra presets. And you'll have all the other presets that are bundled with this already on your computer. So the mods installed, let's head over to mods, click the drop down arrow next to sky HUD and select enable. Vortex is doing its magic and it should be enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Skyrim special edition via the SKSE64 loader and check and see that everything's working okay. So here we are, we have the Oblivion preset for Skyhud. You can see the health, magic, stamina bar in the bottom left corner and our compass is down at the bottom. This is looking pretty sweet. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and quit out and move on to changing presets, showing you how that happens. So here we are back on the desktop and I wanted to show you how you could swap out presets within Sky HUD. Head over to Vortex and select the drop down arrow next to where it says remove and click reinstall. Don't add a variant, just update all profiles. That brings us back to the first installation screen, hit install, ESP package, and now we can choose a different preset here. I'm going to do mm, vanilla small, just so we can see a little bit of a difference between the oblivion setting. And go to miscellaneous and now optional installs, install the HUD compatibility patch and extra presets, hit finish. It's updating. It's been enabled, and now I'm going to launch Skyrim to confirm. Yeah! Okay, great. Now we've got our magic and stamina bars are back on the bottom section of the map, and our compass is up in the middle. And I believe that these actual charge bars, these bars are actually a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quit out. So now we're back here on the desktop and I want to show you how to install another preset from a recommended user through Skyhood's site. I'm going to go with Lyra's Skyhood preset and scroll down to files and mod manager download. Wait for this to push over to Vortex, and we'll go over to the download section. We'll install it, head over to Mods, Enable, and now you'll see there are some unresolved file conflicts. Select More, and Vortex will help us resolve these. So here we have the two different um, presets for Skyhead, the Oblivion and Lyra's. 
and it's asking for load order. The, we always want to have SkyHUD load first and then our newest preset load after. So Lyra SkyHUD will load after, click save, let it resolve, we'll hit deploy. And now I'll launch Skyrim. Okay, now we have Lyra's ah. interface, and you can see the compass at the very top is squished all the way up a little more, and it's smaller. We don't have the Oblivion health magic stamina bar on the left. Instead, we have our stamina bar on the bottom right. I'm going to quit out and move on to the next way of uh, changing out presets and doing it, doing it manually. I'll show you that now. Okay, so back on the desktop. Let's say you don't like the preset you just installed. You want to go back to the Oblivion preset. Um, go over to Vortex Mod Manager. Let's disable the last preset we put in, Lyra's Skyhud preset, and open up a couple uh, Explorer windows. Navigate yourself to uh, Steam Apps Common Skyrim Special Edition Data Interface Skyhud. And here's the Skyhud text file. This is the master file that the game's loading from. Let's go ahead and create a copy of that and put that on our desktop. Never mind that I just threw one into the recycle bin. So I'm going to copy that to the desktop and then following the same path in the other window all the way to interface, select the Skyhud folder presets. And here we have the four presets that we originally installed that came with Skyhud. And I want to get back to my Oblivion version that I like more. So then I'll select Interface, Skyhud, and this text file we want to overwrite. So I'm going to copy and paste back over here. Replace files in destination. And now when I load Skyrim, we should have the Oblivion preset. There we have it. There's the Oblivion preset there, the compass is down at the bottom. Things are looking good. And you can always go back and uninstall Skyhud if nothing seems to your liking, or you can continue further and play around with some of these alternative Skyhud presets that are also available on Nexus mods. I personally had some issues trying to configure the alternative Skyhud presets. In the upper right corner, I would get a warning that the configuration file was out of date and I couldn't, couldn't resolve it. If you find a solution to this problem, be sure to share it in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like. And for more mod tutorials and awesome gameplay, be sure to subscribe to More RPG. Thanks for watching.